Hello, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable 2. This I'm your host, the Gamer so, alive. I actually found that I can actually buy the Crucible Peanuts, which I need to get for this item, I think. Yes. The Vile Attire. I. What is that? Worshippers of the Chasm formed an evil sect who believed the world would be one day would one day be sucked into the abyss where true believers like them would rule forever. The fighters among them wore this outfit as they splur bled spread terror, terror wherever they went. Uh. A dark figure wearing this outfit appeared one day in the center of town and started to curse everyone in a strange tongue. A hunter threw a harpoon in his neck before he could finish, so it was okay. Well, that's good. I suppose. If you don't mind living. Anyways, let's look at uh, how this how this how this looks. Female lower class. Mm. Yes, male lower class. And yes, I did figure out how to work the dice. Uh, that's a black. Which one? Oh, chasm. Oh. It kind of looked like a jester for a bit, so that's why I was like, uh, the hell's this thing? And why is it, you know, a thing? But this actually looks pretty menacing. I would kind of hate to see a big bad evil dude coming up to me with that sort of outfit and being all like, mm, cursing, curse, 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 curse. Uh, well, save for the headgear, I'm... Yeah, there we go. It's a pretty cool looking outfit, regardless. But in any case, I... I am now able to complete the quest to enter to the shadows. Yes, that's the word. Temple of Shadows. I, what I had to do was I essentially had to rest for each week because each week is when they restock uh, new supplies in different places and whatnot. So I essentially, <laughs> I essentially had uh, rested for seven whole days, and then when I woke up, walked out to my local journal, journal supplier of foods and goods and whatnot, and bought some crunchy chicks, and if they didn't have them, I'd rest again, and I'd buy more crunchy chicks, and so on, and so on, and so on, until I had enough crunchy chicks to do this quest. I think I have enough. He said five, right? Should only be five. If it's not five, I don't know. Because I have like six. Six crunchy chicks. Ah, excellent. You have to swallow every last bit, you know. The feathers, the bones, the... The beak. Oh, excuse me, please. This is hilarious, by the way. <laughs> I have been wanting to do this for a while. Oh. He just gives me the chicks. Oh, I can't believe you did that! It, it was still alive! Yup. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. That one was still fluttering as you swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> Three? Ugh. You ate three! Oh, the last one I got this far dropped dead! We could still hear the chirping inside his stomach. Oh! Wow, this freaking Temple of the Shadows is freaking pansy if they can't handle this. There goes another one! Extra crunchy! Oh! You don't have any scruples, do you? Nope, no scruples whatsoever, sir. That. That is the vilest thing I've ever seen. And this, coming from someone who never misses Torture Tuesdays. Mm. Anyway, yes, welcome to the temple. You've earned your place among the shadows. Huzzah. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm gonna be the most metal evil mofo around. Oh, that's someone else practicing their evil laugh. Okay. So, as you can tell, this is the Temple of Shadows. 
It is the evilly place, full of evilly evilness. And chests. Yes, thank you, dog. I'm already looking for the chests, so unless you're dig barking in a dig spot, that'll be a little bit more annoying. No, you were barking at the treasures. Of course you were. I don't imagine that this place would be overly difficult to get into if you aren't, you know, evil in the first place. What with the, you know, singular gate there and all these wreckage walls and everything, but eh, regardless. Come, pop. Let us go and descend into the Temple of Shadows and see to it that we are truly and completely irredeemably evil. It's fun times, I swear. So now we just gotta wait. Welcome, young disciple, to the Temple of Shadows. I am Cornelius Grimm. Hello, Grimm. You have entered a venerable society of dark worship with a long history of wicked deeds and opprobrious transgressions. Friday's is poker night. <laughs> now, proceed down the hallway to our unholy wheel of misfortune, the most gruesome and terrifying device ever conceived. The instructions are right next to it. Well, all right then. Let's check out this thing. Uh huh. Yeah, it's, uh, some spider webs. Man, this place is pretty bitching. Dog, if you're barking at that treasure chest. The shadows just can't get enough sacrifices. Jolly well love them, they do. Each victim you bring into the sacrificial circle earns you a nice little bundle of loyalty points. And with the Temple of Shadows reward scheme, once you've earned enough points, you can collect a really quite smashing prize. Sweet, I love smashing prizes. But first I'm going to collect this prize. So I suppose also off camera I should have finished the whole ooh, Shadow Worshipper robes. Eh, this looks like they'll make my butt look big. Uh, I'm less inclined to that scene as the l noses are all long and whatnot. In any case, though, let's let's check around here for a little bit. Because there's bound to be stuff. It's just a matter of what stuff there is. See? There's a dig spot. Come on, Pickle. Here we go. So... Depending on who you sacrifice, or who you bring to sacrifice, rather, as well, the treasure hunting book, you actually end up uh, getting more and more points. Like, tip of light people you can bring in, and they'll be all like, no, no. You pretty much bring in the more people, the more points. That's, that's a whole git. That's the whole idea. It's a whole kitten caboodle. But... You have to Stupid enough to follow one of us down here deserves to die in the most gruesome manner. Yeah, it's pretty true. So you pretty much just need to find any Albanians that, you know, will follow you. And they're pretty susceptible to, you know, dying and torture, the death. What's this here? This is this a shortcut of some sort? Oh no, I can I could sleep here. That does not seem like the best of ideas. I'm just making sure that I'm not missing any treasure, really. Because I'd rather not miss any treasure while this time here. It prevents me from having to scour through this entire place over and over and over again. Uh, see, what I kind of miss is the old guild system in... Uh... Fable 1, whereas you get quests, and you can select to do the side quests and get the renown, but those also give you the option of what, you know, if you want to be the good or the evil. Um, oh. What you, what you barking at, pup? Where's the treasure here? Oh, it's the silver key. Sweet. Don't know how many that is. 
we could quickly look into my inventory. But we all know that looking into your inventory in Fable is not that quick. Could be worse though. Could be the inventory of Fable 3. Holy crap. The inventory in Fable 3 sucks. But this isn't supposed to be a review. This is supposed to be checking out the rest of the temple. So let's see what we got here. The Wheel of Misfortune, the Malevolent Shadows, invite you to use their ancient reward scheme of ultimate evil. Make sacrifices to collect dark loyalty points. To sacrifice, or to satisfy the shadows, hunger for gristle, gristly and gore. Gristle and gore. Rah. I can't word. Lead the sacrificial candidate to the center circle. Pull the lever. Stand back as the wheel decides what gruesome fate will befall that person or persons within. Each person you succeed, you sacrifice at the wheel will earn you reward points. How many points you are rewarded will depend on your renown and the time of day. Each bonus point, earn bonus points by sacrificing Temple of Light monks and even more for your spouse. You can make more than one sacrifice at a time. Collect 2,000 points for the ultimate evil reward. Damn. And looks like they got some weird weird things here. It's like burning. I uh, don't know what that one is. is. Is that one like swords? Is that another burning? Uh, that one looks like being jabbed onto a stake. That one looks like being turned into a chicken. Is this bottom purple one like old age? And then this one appears to be gender bending. Lovely. So, if you do remember though, I do have a spouse who would... Well, not a spouse really, but certainly someone who would absolutely love to follow me all around the place. If we were just betrothed. So, I might as well show off that as well. Especially seen as I think she is still alive and kicking, annoyingly enough, in the town square of Bowerstone Market. Uh, it has been so long since I've done these. I almost think I've forgotten how to do most of these. Not 100% sure. Now, where is she? I mean, all else fails, I can find literally almost anyone else. I can literally pick up anyone else, marry them, and have them be my betrothed. I did when I was very young. I didn't really like it all that much after the whole revenge thing went and happened. Huh, I wonder where she went. Usually she's on my it's freaking heels. Time for all hmm. I guess that she's not actually up and around for some reason again. Maybe she's actually fully done and gone the thing where she's supposed to have gone away. Stopped existing. Also, just me as my hand's different. Wake up. Apparently, I'm supposed to wake up. Oh, because those are different than the gloves I was wearing before. Okay. Here. Yes, thank you, guy. I totally did not know. I could have uh, probably lived my entire life yeah. without knowing that morning was here. <laughs> so, that said, I'm going to try to seduce someone else, I guess. Hmm. Not a whole lot of people out right now. Got to give it a moment, it seems. Ah, so have it this girl. Sup, Liz, the housewife. You. We're supposed to do good deeds, but you never Yippee! do it. <laughs> nice moves! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, she doesn't have a wedding band thing on her, so she doesn't... Ugh. Alright, what about you? Yes. Ger Geraldine. Really now you get wonderful. to see me dance. Watch me dance. And then offer her the ring. No. Yeah. Please, no. So now she likes me a lot. 
She doesn't like the expression of bag. That's alright. Now, I believe what I need to do is I need to lead her to a house that I own. And set that as the house that we shall live in. Dun dun dun. Let me make 100% sure that's exactly what I need to do because, um, yeah, this one. Uh, da, da, da. Huh. Well, I'm gonna just go ahead and go to one of my houses. Is this one occupied? Am I renting out this one? Uh, set. Yep, I can set it as the marital marital home. Actually, that's right. That's right. All I need to do, you see, uh, one of the things I've forgotten to keep on do is back in freaking Oakfield. There is, in fact. A place to say it is a demon door I believe it's a demon door that makes it so as you have to be betrothed and married to a person and all that fun stuff and then when you're done doing that you can just go over to the door and be all like hey I want in and they'll be all like oh sir I suppose I can do that but that's assuming that I remember the place correctly I'm really hoping my Xbox isn't deciding to completely fritz out on me right now. Xbox. Xbox! There we go. Where the hell am I? Yes, thank you. I'm in Oak... Oak. This isn't a bad house at all. This isn't the house that I want to move us into. In fact, you're going to have to stand a little bit of running, woman. Better keep up. Or the hubs might get you. No, seriously, there's hobs in this place. A little bit, you know, little evil schemers, little bastards that they are. Not sure how I'm going to get the Temple of Light people to follow me into the place, but hey. That's another thing I'll come across in another time. Is this the way to it? Maybe I'm talking out of my butt and I don't know what the hell I'm even saying. Could have sworn there was a demon door here. I mean, there's at the least a dig spot, apparently. Uh, yes, you, I, okay. Where is it? Is it over here? There you go, big guy. How you doing? Oh, Rosalia, why didst thou leave me? You carved your name on my stony heart only to shatter it with the sledgehammer of your absence. Oh, hello. I wager you have never known a love truer and purer than mine. Oh, to get a glimpse of such love, even for just a few seconds, would inflate my soul with delight. A delicate kiss between pledged lovers is all that I ask. Such a sight would surely unlock my pain. Okay. Uh, do I have a kiss emo emotion thingy? Flirty? Stop. Just stop. Uh, it's a pickup line. Hey. Really quite wonderful. I am quite wonderful. Oh, you're such a charmer. Yes, I am. Seriously, oh, where's the kissy one? Marvelous. S seduce? Is it seduce? How romantic. Am I using the right ones? Or do I need to actually like target her and You're really quite something. It's closing time Shut up about your closing shops. time with all shops. Stop wasting our time. Where why can't I Do I actually have to be full on betrothed to her? In which case, come on. I think you only become full on patrols to her and I was trying to save time by going <coughs> ah, Shut up dog By going in, you know showing her the place and the whatnot and then I could just oh well I'll get her to my house right over here and then it should be as easy as pie in order for her to become my betrothed betrothed my wife My whiff Oh yeah, it's a nice little place. I like it. 
Look, we got little hen houses on the side so we could have all the crunchy chicks that we want. You are now famous enough to use the blow kiss expression. Within every lifetime, there are moments of greatness, even perfection, some solitary, but others shared. On a sunny morning, under a clear sky, the villagers crowded together to witness two people stand and declare their love for each other. Some say they were a strange couple, others that they saw a story of true love. Only time would tell. Time will tell, but it's uh, only a very short amount so of time. Happy together. Oh no. Did I gain good points for that? I think I could gain good, good, yeah, got good points for that. Alright, so pretty much from here, oh, you just hello, have to make sure that your wife, or wives, because you can actually get, like, one per town as long as they don't find out, that, um, you can pretty much have Amazing. as many wives as you want and keep them all happy and copacetic and all that fun stuff. Look at you go! <laughs> But we don't want her to do that. I would like her to follow. Trying to get our attention again. <laughs> um you are following, right? Come on. No? Do I have to open the door for you? Welcome, wife. Oh wait. There's something with the dog. What do you say we go to bed early today? Know what I mean? Yes. Pretty. Come on. <laughs> I can't wait to rip those clothes off you, darling. Oh yeah, time for the most intense sex scenes that anyone will ever see in these games. Uh, I do have condoms, so why not? How long have you had this bed? <sighs> hmm. So strong. I'm going to. Yup, that's that's bit it. More G-rated than a freaking soft core. Whip. Oh well. Whip you like you've never been whipped before. Whip. The <laughs> hell are you great. into, woman? Well, that's all fine and dandy, but um, hey, uh. My I just beloved. know I'm going to hate this. What the hell, woman? Um, is she still following me or something? Hey. Dismiss gift. I. Wait, how is it I'm supposed to get her to follow me again? Uh, come back to my place. I don't think I could go again just yet, sweetie. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, apparently she does have those, uh, parent limit things, um... Seriously, where's the follow -em up icon? Stop oh, wasting derp. our time! Okay, lead the way. Now... The time is... very late! Don't care, Mr. Guard Guy. Now, let's try to get into that demon door that's all over here. Then after that, I will see about getting into the... Oh, wait. Does Blow Kiss count? I hope Blow Kiss counts, because if it doesn't count, I'm going to be a little bit pissed. If it doesn't... Yeah, okay, I'll just be a little bit pissed, and then I'll have her follow me to the Temple of Shadows. The best time to use the Temple of Shadows, by the way... For the whole sacrificing thing is actually exactly at midnight. Hey, demon guy. She's why, uh Why must love encounter such torment? Are we condemned to loneliness and dejection? A little bit. How did I end up with someone so good looking? Stop wasting our time. Oh, my wounded heart. How it rejoices to witness such devotion. May Motion, that my sure. treasure bring you half as much happiness. Oh, apparently she's got a gift for me too. Ooh, sleepy bean java. Nicely done. Alright, and this leads to the place called the homestead. Which can be used as its own separate little home where you can like have people live in be all quite like 
So, another thing, well, there's a couple of things, really, about the whole sex thing that you can do, is A, you can actually have kids. This is a lovely place. Like, it's still night out, so, you know, whatever. But still. Now that's what I call a Fine, we'll set it to the it's marital wonderful. house. There. That property is mine. Yes, I kind of presumed that. Now, let's loot it. Yay, mutton. I assume that she's still trying to follow me. Yes, good. Good, 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 good. Now, I believe she will follow me if I try to back try to fast travel too so Comes from a long line of heroes oh uh, good for you oh, was it weird good for you uh Geraldine why'd I have to pick someone with a harder name to remember come hither dear or is this the one that's all like yep all right to the temple of shadows then <laughs> uh, uh. Oakfield no wait not Oakfield Derp! Rookridge? Yes, there it is. So now we'll go to Rookridge's Temple of Shadows, and depending on what time it is, I will sacrifice my betrothed. You coming? You coming. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Now it is 2 p.m. The shadows just can't get enough sacrifices. Jolly well love them, they do. Each victim you bring into the sacrificial circle earns you a nice little bundle of loyalty points. And with the Temple of Shadows reward scheme, once you've earned enough points, you can collect a really quite smashing prize. I say, that looks like a jolly good sacrifice you had there, old bean. Just lead the offering into the sacrificial circle. By the way, how did you get the blighters to follow you here? Always have a heck of a time myself. You, uh... It's a long process, dude. It, it involves quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of time and effort. Alright, so I'm actually going to wait here until the proper time. Which is actually like 12 a.m. So, um, just gotta wait. You have to admit, anyone stupid enough to follow one of us down here deserves to die in the most gruesome manner. Yeah, that's pretty true, Alistair. We're actually extremely close to the time where I would get the maximum amount of favor for having done this thing to the woman. Yeah, it's not exactly the most, um... Exciting quest to do no slaying of monsters or anything like that You just gotta convince a bunch of people to follow you and then lead them into the temple of Shadows and whatnot and hope that they you know are patient enough to wait out and Till it's 12 a.m. I believe it should be 12 a.m. It's a, if it's not 12 a.m. That wouldn't make any sort of sense as that is midnight Working next to the wheel used to put me off food but not anymore. Still can't Shh, touch Alistair. black puddings, though. I don't care about you and your preferences of food. Uh, it should essentially be one second to a minute. So, about 21 more seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10... Nine. Oh. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Oh, gods. Two. One. This is like the best time. Right now. Let's see what she gets. <laughs> You have to admit, anyone stupid enough to follow one of us down here deserves to die in the most gruesome manner. And that's what happened. Your very own spouse! I bow to your superior evilness! 
Of course, you might have saved that one for the right of unhallowed wickedness, but bravo all the same. Wait, the, the right of unhallowed... I thought I did that. It's 12 in the morning. What the... I'm gonna have to read into that a little bit, but I'm going to do the rest of this quest off camera until I get to the point where I can, you know, successfully say, hey, I did it. So, till then, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers. You have to admit, anyone stupid enough to follow one of us down here deserves to die in the most gruesome manner. Shut up, Alistair.